Hello, my lovely Pisceans, and a very warm welcome to your July 2021 horoscope. Now, the big news this month is that your co-ruler, Jupiter, goes retrograde on the 29th of the month. And Jupiter rules your, your good fortune, abundance, wealth, wisdom, expansion, growth. And as it goes retrograde, this is an opportunity now to look back over the last three to four months at maybe projects you've begun, at things that have happened, and to look at where did I take risks? Where did I step out? Maybe where did I overdo it a little? And where do I need to just come back into balance once again? Or maybe I didn't take enough risks and this Jupiter retrograde will give me a safe base to be able to step out again further and wider. Let's break the month down for you lovely Pisces. On the 10th of the month, we've got a lovely new moon happening in your fifth house. And on the 12th of the month, Mercury joining the party in the fifth house. The fifth house is the house of romance. This can bring a new romance into your life. It can bring a new creative spark into your life. It can bring new joyfulness into your world. And you might want to set an intention to connect with the frequency of joy and laughter and play and practice your smiling. But overall, this is wonderful for your creative juices and for them to manifest and for you to share them. You might start a new business. You might launch a product or a service. These are great things to do with these aspects. On the 22nd of the month, woo, we've got Venus coming into the relationship area. On the 23rd, Sun joining Mars here in the sixth house. I'll go through them all real quickly here. On the 24th, a full moon. On the 28th, Mercury coming to the sixth. And the 29th, Jupiter going retrograde, as I mentioned. And finally, on the 30th, Mars coming into the seventh. So here we get this focus, 12, six, and seven. So six is your health, your work, your service to others. 12th house is your private house, the mystical house, the silence, the peacefulness inside your internal being. And the seventh house, of course, relationships. So here we've got this focus upon a new beginning for your health, your well-being. Great time for finding a new modality, for doing a new diet, for continuing with a new diet, for continuing with an exercise program, whatever it is that you know you need for your well-being, make sure you do it because these aspects are really helping. Here, the full moon in the 12th, shining a light on things that you might have kept hidden. And they're coming out for you to look at, not necessarily for the world, but for you to look at. For you maybe to accept an ending of a situation and know deep down that it's gonna to lead to something new and something better for you. So no need to hold on. You can release, you can let go and go with the flow of energy. And here we've got Venus and Mars towards the end of the month together in this relationship area. This is wonderful for a new relationship, the renewal of an existing relationship, and peace and harmony and goodwill generally in all of your relationships, business and personal. So there you have it, my lovely Pisceans. I wish you a wonderful month and I thank you for liking the video commenting, sharing, and selling. Bye for now.